welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Tiki Taki. You know, saga continues. Uh, a lot more passport bros. A little bit of, uh, you know, holding some people accountable. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. <laughs> no, nah, it ain't happening, girl. <laughs> yeah, you ain't bumping into no one. No one gonna bump into you. <laughs> she really tried. <laughs> Hi guys, you might have noticed that there was a certain angry, um, nasty, aggressive, very dominant acting Filipina by the name of Helga that started off by being a... Yeah, I actually did not feature her at almost at all in my, any of my Passport Bro clips. I kind of saw what was going on and uh, we'll, we'll go over more of this clip and then I'll, I'll give you some more of my stuff supporter I of take the passport her. bro movement however you'll notice that when she said pro passport boys and passport bros things she insisted that they change it to passport kings yep if they're not out for sex and just using asian women we have never supported that in passport bros in fact i've called that passport fakes and passport punks meaning that they're just not what we're looking for they're the male version of what we're trying to escape, yep. toxic individuals. We're trying to get away from toxic feminism in America and trying to find good women to make good marriages and families with. This Helga started off being a supporter, but I wasn't so sure on this because she was already trying to control it and influence it in the direction she wanted. Then she went against it, saying that Passport Bros was totally against the great things, that we were just looking for sex. Now, recently, she said, no, I'm not against it. I'm just against some of them. What Helga's not telling you is that Helga also happens to run a dating site that you have to pay to use. You have to pay whether you're Asian or Western. Okay. I actually got contacted by a Filipina dating or Filipino dating site that was very similar to this. They contacted me because they wanted to sponsor my videos and, uh, you know, do whatever they wanted to do. I, I spoke with them a little bit and yeah, I felt like I was going to be used for a uh, great evil <laughs> in a sense uh, because, uh, yeah, I represent Passport Bros and... This was like a paid site to con connect Western men to Filipinas and, you know, things like that. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of this. And, you know, when I saw Helga's channel and how Helga's channel was like promoting a similar type site, I was kind of understanding what was going on. So, um, yeah, I think because I was Asian. Um, I look Filipino and I do represent Passport Bros, a decent sized channel, I guess. 4,000 is decent for these dating sites. And uh, yeah, they offered me a contract to, um, you know, promote their, their site. And I declined just because for one, it was like a, a religious dating site and I'm not part of that religion. That was one major thing. And the other one was like, it felt scammy to me. Not saying they are a scam. They seem fully legit, and I did like check out their site and stuff. But it just seems scammy of me to promote a paid dating site to you know meet match Filipinas. Uh, I mean, according to them, women do get matched up and meet their husbands and all these things. But how, what I promote is go on your own, man. Travel on your own. Meet people. Do your thing. Don't use these dating sites. Don't use dating sites to, to travel and meet people. Unless, you know, like you want to just have fun and meet around and use Tinder, I guess. That's okay. But still be in those countries. You know, don't pay people to find you a match is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so this was a big 
clip for me because I actually experienced the dating site that he's kind of speaking about. Western, whether you're European or African, whether you're Hispanic, whatever. Yep. So you have to pay Helga. Helga is now defending Asian women everywhere. And also, she knows the only good passport bros and passport boys. But she'll share this to you if you're willing to pay a fee. Go check her videos and see what about the comments that ask about her dating site. She quickly pops down a link. This is called a marketing scam. Mm -hmm. She is a gold digger. She is someone that is trying to stir up fear and become a manipulator of this situation. The Passport Bros, Passport Kings movement is about getting away from toxic women that abort babies just for convenience, that divorce men and take their children and money, that mistreat men. We are not against any specific race or anything of that nature. There just seems to be a lot of them in America. Yeah. And we're saying go to another country. I only mentioned Filipinas because that's my experience, all right? But this Helga is a scammer. She's a manipulator. She's a gold digger. There are always going to be a few bad everywhere. Yep. This is true of every country and mm -hmm. every movement. But don't worry about her. She's just angry. She can't control it. She's bad for men and women. Yep. Take care. No, I agree that. I mean, I'm not a big fan of people trying to control us in general, so. We got a man that's made it. I thought it was depression, but then I realized it was an error. So I actually had the same experience my first trip to Colombia. 100% accurate. This is exactly how I was my first trip to Colombia. And now I'm working on becoming a full-time expat and living out there. But let me tell you guys something. The people are amazing. They're just glad to be alive. Very vibrant, full of personality, very fun to hang around. And also very helpful. You know, I haven't I haven't ran into, you know, anybody that had like malicious intent um, yet. So just very, very different from the United States, man. Um, you can tell that, you know, those are very family oriented people. They're a that lot they are. warmer. They're a lot more except. I think most countries outside of the, the West and the U.S. are pretty family oriented thing and, and, you know, sociable. They also care about small things like they won't leave the water running they do not waste food mm. you know just just like small things that they yeah the abundance mindset is a little bit different over there it's, it's much more scarce for food and things like that so they're not they're not so wasteful sure that we kind of just take for granted i thought it was depression men don't like that women with face hair neck tattoos quality men don't like that nope women walking around here with these inflated butts falling behind them like wagons nope. there are men that like that but it's definitely not a quality man because quality Ooh. men don't like that women who are in and out the strip club making it rain acting like real live dudes you're not a man how unattractive quality men don't like that women who are in and out of relationships in november you with ray ray in december you with tay tay not only do you look trash <laughs> that's a new one tay tay <laughs> you look nasty quality men don't like that a quality man may play with that but a quality man will never commit to that because quality men don't like women like that however you do you but a quality man wants a quality lady who carries herself like a real lady Quality men don't fast shot out thugged out women interesting, attractive, or appealing. That's why most are single, ringless, in and out of relationships because quality men won't settle down with women like that. That is correct. And yes, it is a man's job for him to respect a woman, but it's a woman's job to give him something to respect. Be smart, date smart, choose wisely. Woo! She was on fire! Okay, what I do for work and how I can work remote and travel so much. So I got a ton of these questions on my last video about El Salvador. So what do I do for work? And no, it's not a trust fund, I wish honestly. Short answer is photography and social media. I've been doing this for about four years now full time and I absolutely love it. 
I work with various different brands on internal content and also content that I post on my social channels. And for those that said photography and social media don't pay the bills, I actually used to work in the tech industry. Mm -hmm. I was a software engineer and product manager in New York City, and I quit when I started making more money doing this. Also, this is way more fun. I got into tech, though, because I wanted the flexibility to work remote. Mm -hmm. I have a few long-term partners, one being Expedia Group. I produce and shoot content for their social media as well as some for my own. I definitely don't take any day for granted, and I'm so lucky and blessed to be able to do this. I also know it was a ton of hard work to get here. If you're wanting to travel more or work remote, I'd say 1000% do it. If you already have a job that lets you work from home a lot, have a conversation with your boss and see if they're open to you traveling while you work. If you're curious about getting into tech, look into coding boot camps. That's what I did eight years ago. Obviously not everyone can do this and it takes privilege to be able to work remote and have a job, but I guarantee you if you really want to do it, it's easier than you think it is. That was good, Chow. Like that man said, it requires a lot of work. And it's it's a bit of a privilege to be a passport bro, to be able to travel and live the world and see the world the way it is, right? So all I got to say is look for that remote work. If it's you want to do that cybersecurity class, you want to do that data analyst class, get to it. I'm actually already on the second course of that cybersecurity class. I'll do another uh, update on it later. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. It's chow time.